Hi! In this video, you will learn how to create a simple concept animation that looks like this. We present three options. This is one option. This is another option. Our preferred option though will be presented like this. Isn't it beautiful? I'm a big fan of using animated metaphors in business presentations. They make the concepts stick in the minds of the audience. Plus, in learning how to create this simple animation, you will discover a very powerful technique called ghost shape technique. You can use the technique in a lot of situations. I'll show you examples of the application of the technique later in this video. By the way, I will include this slide as part of our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. If you don't know what is comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, it is a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you make beautiful and engaging presentations. The link is in the description box below the video. By the way, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. Let us jump right in and learn how to create this beautiful animation. The first step is to create the basic shape that you see here. Let us go to rectangles and pick up this rounded rectangle. Let us draw a big rounded rectangle like this and then move this yellow handle to the center so you create full curvature and then you can of course always resize according to your requirement. Let me create a copy of this by using the shortcut control D and I'm going to make this slightly smaller and I'm going to place this right below the previous one. Let us change the color of this to something interesting like this color and then let us go to no outline. Now we need to use this as the platform where the option is presented in the form of a dish. To create the lid that covers the dish we are going to use a simple shape. Let us go to basic shapes and you can find the shape here called as partial circle. Click on it then hold the shift button down and create the partial circle like this. Then move this yellow handle so it touches the white handle that you see here. So that forms a proper semicircle. Then let us flip it vertical and then place it over here. If you want to use a lighter color for this, maybe you can use this kind of a light tan color. And let us go to shape outline and use a darker color for the outline. I'm going to draw a small circle here as a way to handle the lid. So let us go to the oval shape. Draw a small circle while holding the shift button down and then use the same set of colors that we used earlier and let us place this right on top of the previous one. Let us select this and this press ctrl G to create a group. Now we have the lid. Now let us write the text here called option 1 and also let us write some explanation for option 1. I'm not really going to waste a lot of your time in showing how to do that. I'm just going to pick up the text that I had written earlier and I'm going to place this right behind the lid and I'm going to send this to back. Now the next step is to add custom animation that brings everything to life. The animation that we want to create is for this lid to be opened. Now, how does that happen? You might think it's fairly easy. All you need to do is to rotate it, isn't it? So let me spin it like this and you can see that this is how it spins. It is definitely not the way we want it. So how do we handle the issue? This is where the beautiful technique called ghost shape comes in handy. So what is a ghost shape? Let us select this shape. Press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Can you see here? It is exactly the same shape. I'm going to flip it vertically and I'm going to move this so it touches the center point here. Now if you see in the earlier case, we had the center point for this shape somewhere over here. And that is the reason why when we rotated this shape, it rotated around this axis. Now by adding this ghost shape, we have shifted that center point over here. Now when you rotate the shape, it behaves very differently. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to select this and this and press Ctrl G to group. Now these two are one group. Now observe what happens. As I rotate, it opens up revealing the option beneath it. Isn't that beautiful? So that is what we are going to do with custom animation. For now, let us keep this the way it is. Now I'm going to make this disappear. Now there is a very important point to note here. You cannot make it disappear by going to the shape fill and then say no fill. Now that will not work for this case. We need to use the option called transparency. Let us right click, go to format shape, go to fill and then say 
transparency is 100%. And then we are going to do the same thing for this as, as well. So let us make this also 100% transparent. Now this outline is seen. So we are going to choose line and increase the transparency to 100% even there. So now there is a shape here. If you click, you can see that there is a shape here, but it is not visible. And that is the reason why I call it the ghost shape. Now, let me select this shape, which is a group. Go to animations, then go to spin animation, which is under emphasis. And then we are going to change the effect options to quarter spin. And that is how it moves. And we are going to have this happen counterclockwise. So that is the spin and that reveals the option underneath. Isn't that beautiful? And right after that spins open, we are going to have this one fade in. So let us go to animations and say fade. And this happens after previous. When I go to animation pane, you can see that there are two animations. The first one is a spin animation, which is counterclockwise quarter spin. And the text is revealed. When I go to slideshow, you can see how the whole thing works. This reveals the first option. Excellent. Now I'm going to take this and then move this somewhere to one side. And I'm going to press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. And I'm going to place this to the other side. And this will be my next option. Now I don't really want it to be opened to this side. So I'm going to make it open to this side. And to do that, I'm going to use flip horizontal. So this is flip horizontal. You can see that the ghost shape is somewhere over here now. And I'm going to move this lid so it covers this option. Now let me bring the text behind it to the front. So bring to front and this way I can change the option text. Now that looks good. Now I can always send this to back. Now I'm going to make one more copy of this and keep it in the center. So that will be my third option. So let me select all of it, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then I'm going to place this somewhere in the center. Now in this case, I want to lift up the lid instead of opening it by spinning it. So how do we do that? First of all, we don't need the ghost shape. So I'm going to select this and then click on the semicircle, delete it. And then there is another shape here and that is for the lid cover. So when I click on that, I can delete that as well. When I go to animations and go to animation pane, you can see that there is this animation for the text available. Only that we need to move this one slightly up. For that, you know what animation to use, which is a simple motion path animation called lines. Let us move it up. So that is how it is lifted up. Now we don't really need it to go till that far. So click on the red arrow and then hold the shift button down and then place it somewhere over here. So the text is just about revealed. Now, whatever text that we had earlier written, which was copied from the earlier instance can always be moved down. So we have three animations. The first one opens it up to the left. And then when I show this option, you will notice that there is something wrong. Can you see here? It is flipping like this. Now, where is the mistake? The mistake is, even though we have flipped this horizontally, we have not bothered to change the direction of rotation. So we need to go to the spin animation here and then go to effect options. This time the lid is not going to spin counterclockwise, but it is going to spin clockwise. Now, can you see here? This is properly spinning. For good order's sake, let us select all of these and then ensure that everything is visible and right in the middle. When I go to slideshow, on a click, we have the first option shown and the details are shown here. The second option or the third option, whatever is the other option that you have shown here. And then we have the center one showed like this. Beautiful, right? Now this ghost shape technique that we used to create this animation is very handy to create some really complex animations. Let me show you some example templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. Here we show the concept of using Russian dolls. The concept goes like this. The company's goals are the overarching one. On a click, we show that the department's goals are a part of company's goals. And then on a click, we show that the individual's goals are part of the department's goals. So all of them have to be aligned. So this is one concept. Of course, you can use this concept in a lot of situation depending on your imagination. 
Here again, you can see that this movement of this shape here has happened with the ghost shape technique. Let me show you another example of where ghost shape technique is used. Let me present the concept of three elements combining to give one result. First, we show what the three ingredients are. Of course, you can replace this text with your own text. And then on a click, we show that all the ingredients are placed inside. And now we are blending them together. And then on a click, we pour the result into this vessel. And this is the combined result. Once again, you can imagine how many times we have used the ghost technique for it to spin in the right direction and then we are able to move it and have the whole thing work like magic. And in general, metaphors are very powerful in communicating a concept. For example, an idea bulb is a commonly used metaphor that immediately can be understood by your audience. Here, we are going to use that concept to talk about one stage which is idea generation stage. Then on a click, we show the next stage, which is the execution stage, which is shown like this. Now, this is the final example. Here, I'm going to show how a business assembles goods. On a click, we talk about how the various components are brought in. Of course, you can write your text regarding the various inputs that are being assembled as part of the business. And once this is done, you click and show the final result, which is like this. Once again, the metaphor of combining various puzzle pieces to create a completed product is used. And if you are a busy presenter who doesn't really have much time to create these kind of elaborate custom animated concepts, then you can always go in for our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, which has a whole bunch of concept animations as part of the collection. All you need to do is to pick the right metaphor, the right idea, concept, replace the text with your own text, and your slide deck gets created in a matter of minutes. It's a beautiful way to present ideas like this. And there is no other animated templates collection in the market that gives you these many concept animations that are all so unique and which take a lot of time for you to create. Of course, not even talking about the kind of skill required to come up with these ideas and execute them. So if you are a professional who needs to make presentations as part of your profession, then investing in comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is definitely worth it. The link again is in the description box below the video. If you want to watch another custom animation tutorial to take your animation skills and PowerPoint to the next level, you can click on the link here. If you want to join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, five day free email mini training, you can click on the link here. In the mini course, I have shared 25 simple and practical PowerPoint ideas that you can use in your next business presentation and impress your audience. So go ahead, enroll, and I will see you inside.